Hi friends, it's me Jane. I for one was and am looking forward to the upcoming campus building and management sim Two Point Campus. Students are reminded to set reminders. What I expected on booting up a preview version of Two Point Campus was a game that simulates the construction, customization, and management of a university campus with the signature light-hearted satire and silliness one might expect from the makers of Two Point Hospital. And good news, the game is very much that. What I did not see coming, friends, and how could I, was the introduction of the Two Point Campus love trumpet. Here it is now. Visitors should be checked in and then removed immediately. What is a love trumpet, you ask? What is it for? What is it doing on a campus? Where does it fit into the academic career of a two-point student? All good questions that I will answer in this video about the love trumpet, along with six other things you need to see from the upcoming two-point campus. Now taking students for Scientography. I'm heading to the library to finish and start an essay and I may be there all night. Listen, I considered placing the love trumpet at the end of this list video so you'd maybe stick around and watch the whole thing, but as a responsible pseudo-journalist, I ought to give you the most important information first. The love trumpet is a trumpet-shaped fountain that helps your students romance each other on your campus. If you purchase and place this decorative item, the bubble-blowing sculpture then becomes a social venue for student couples who will take a break from their studies to romantically appreciate it together. So I guess that's what the kids are doing these days. Students are reminded that you came here on purpose. The benefit for you as campus administrator of installing aphrodisiac public art is that the love trumpet encourages students to develop their relationships and student relationships are one of the many factors that govern the welfare of your student population. I want to say not all of these student relationships are romantic in nature and they're not but more than that I want to show you the double jump bed which you can install in a student dorm room for when your loved up students are ready to take things to the next level. Look if jumping on a bed together is your thing that's cool and good but for the sake of your roommates I am still going to install some privacy walls in here students are reminded to have the time of their lives Speaking of beds and roommates, one of your key responsibilities as campus boss is going to be building dormitories to accommodate your growing student population. They're going to need beds to sleep in, they're going to need desks to work at, they're going to need special items catering to their personality style like being a goth, or their chosen course of study like being a clown. They are definitely going to need showers if you want to avoid a seriously stinky campus. And it will come as no surprise to veterans of Two Point Hospital that maintaining adequate toilet facilities is priority number one and priority number two, if you take my meaning. Also, after two years of compulsively sanitising my hands, you'll forgive me if I go ahead and install a hand sanitizer dispenser in every doorway, hallway and corner available. I don't know where these students have been, apart from the ones who've been at the love trumpet, and that's even more reason, to be honest. Students are asked not to ask questions. Frequently asked questions. No, you can't have an extension. Beds and hygiene are all well and good, but if anyone's going to actually learn anything on your campus, you're going to have to teach some classes, for which you'll need lecturers and lecture halls. It's your job to hire the former and build the latter, and at the end of each academic year, it's your call as to which courses you're going to offer at your university. The options include the solemn and respected academic disciplines of funny business, scientography, and gastronomy, the last of which stands out as an actual real-world field of study, but then you suspect their actual real-world lectures don't look like this one. Unless dessert identification is a bigger part of the academic study of gastronomy than I'd previously been led to believe. Lectures alone won't get your students successfully to graduation day, or more importantly, keep them paying you those sweet tuition fees. So, alongside lectures, your campus has to provide hands-on laboratories and workshops for training up the great minds and leaders and clowns of tomorrow. Much like a treatment room in Two Point Hospital, these course-specific laboratories and kitchens and whatnot can be enhanced with better equipment for better academic performance. How are your science students supposed to do their best work without a science shelf full of glowing beakers full of science? You tell me that. World-class scientography, right there. This is a test announcement, not a real announcement. 
No student can say they've had the full student experience if they haven't at some point fallen asleep on a desk in a library, drooling on a textbook. To that end, it's your duty to build and furnish campus libraries with everything a student needs for completing their academic assignments. In my limited experience with Two Point Campus Library Management, the library desk cubicles are in constant queue-generating demand, whether for self-directed study or catching a quick nap. Makes sense. You try sleeping on the double jump bed. Can't be done. Cheesy gubbins are back. Where did they go? Once you have filled your first campus building with libraries, labs, lecture halls, dorms and toilets, it's time to look further afield and expand your campus with additional plots of land. In a departure from the way things work in Two Point Hospital, in Two Point Campus, you're free to lay out your new campus buildings and grounds in any way you see fit, rather than constructing rooms inside a building of predetermined shape and size. In this way, you can arrange your campus buildings around spacious decorative courtyards, for instance, or if you're feeling particularly organized, then you could dedicate specific buildings to specific subjects, which I absolutely did not do here. If you can't find your way to class because my campus is a chaotic mess laid out with no rhyme or reason, feel free to leave. If you can find the exit, I win again in your face, students. It's the Harrison Wolf Show, baby. All right. It turns out students are a demanding bunch who require not just toilets and libraries and the occasional love trumpet, but also the kind of vibrant social lives that come from mingling with each other in fun social situations. They'll learn. <laughs> to facilitate all this socialising, a campus requires rooms such as student lounges and student unions, in which you can organise social events such as raging student parties and dodgy student band nights. On second thoughts, maybe the student union was a bad idea. In any case, that was some of Two Point Campus, which comes out on PC, Mac, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S and Nintendo Switch, as well as Xbox Game Pass for console and PC on the 9th of August, 2022, when you can look forward to seeing more of it here on Outside Xbox. So see you then. Well, hopefully before then, in fact, why not subscribe to this channel and ask for the notifications that let you know when we've published a video? Then there'll be absolutely no chance of you missing out. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.